Good evening. Hello and welcome. You're joining us live here on India Today. I'm Akshita Nandagopal getting you the special broadcast from Hyderabad. It's been my absolute pleasure over the last 10 days to be traveling the length and breadth of Telangana, getting you a sense of the mood on the ground. And now we're counting down to D-Day. Tomorrow is when 3.26 crore voters of Telangana will be exercising their franchise, choosing the party of their choice, whether it's the BRS, the Congress, the BJP, or any other political party in the fray. Over the next 30 minutes, I'll be getting you a curtain raise on what to expect tomorrow on polling day with our entire crew of reporters stationed across Telangana to get you all the live updates. Let's take a look at the headlines first. Day after rescue, tunnel workers airlifted to Ames Rishikesh for 48-hour observation. One lakh compensation handed to all 41 rescued. Uttarakhand Chief Minister Dhami speaks exclusively to India today. Hails Prime Minister Modi's guidance for the Great Tunnel Rescue. Says all tunnel constructions will now be inspected. Uh, this is safety ke... आदेश कर दिए हैं सब सबका सेफ्टी ऑडिट होगा जैसे भी जहां भी टनल वर्क चल रहे हैं और उत्तराखंड के अंदर हमने क्योंकि टनल का काम काफी जगह पर हो रहा है बिग पॉलिटिकल वॉर ओवर रेवेलिंग राहुल राहुल स्लैम फॉर डांसिंग ड्यूरिंग द टनल रेस्क्यू असम चीफ मिनिस्टर हिमंत बिस्व शर्मा सेज नेशन वाज एंशियस बट राहुल हैड फन Home Minister Amit Shah hurls favours for questions taunt at Mahua Moitra, says Trinamool MP destroyed Parliament sanctity. Days after Prime Minister Modi's Tejas sortie, big make in India pushed by Defence Ministry deal to purchase 97 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft on the cards. Rahul Dravid will remain Team India's head coach as BCCI announced contract extension. Dravid continue with same support staff. And here on India Today, we're counting down to polling day in the state of Telangana. Tomorrow starting 7 a.m., crores of voters, the people of Telangana will have their say after we've seen a high octane all out intensive campaign by every political party involved. Ultimately, as always, it's the people who will have the say and they'll be exercising their franchise, casting their vote across polling booths in Telangana and thereby sealing the fate of thousands of candidates who are in the fray this time around. Today also, campaigning, of course, has officially come to an end as the Code of Conduct has kicked in by the Election Commission. But many politicians were seen going to places of worship, offering prayers for last-minute uh, hopes, really, that uh, they will sail through and hoping that the voters choose them. Now, BJP Telangana Chief G. Kishan Reddy held a special puja, he says, for the people of Telangana, with just hours to go before the BJP's fate is decided in Telangana. The BRS, very interestingly, celebrated Diksha Divas. This is the day when KCR had started off his monumental hunger strike for the formation of Telangana. Many said it is political, but the BRS maintained it's a non-political movement, was given the go-ahead by EC. We'll discuss that as well. But let's begin by taking a look at all the reactions. कांग्रेस पार्टी आज नहीं लगभग आज ये राजनीतिक स्थिति इतना नीचे हो गया और उसका पूरा पूरा जिम्मेदारी कांग्रेस पार्टी है जब जब कांग्रेस पार्टी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल प्ले करते हैं कभी भी ऐसी देश का दुर्गति होती है इलेक्शन हमारे लिए एक इंपॉर्टेंट इलेक्शन है लोगों के बीच में जाना लोगों को समझाना आप क्या है दूसरा पार्टी का क्या स्थिति है सब को बोलना मगर इलेक्शन पैसे के आधार पर पैसे के मजबूत के आधार पर इलेक्शन सिर्फ लड़ना कांग्रेस हो बीआरएस हो ये दोनों एक ही है दोनों का डीएनए भी एक है दोनों का आदत भी एक है 
All right, let me open this up, bring in all the reporters who are joining us on this broadcast this evening. They'll be giving you a sense of what to expect tomorrow. We'll have six reporters on the ground. For the moment, Nagarjun Dwarkanath, Apurva Jayachandran, Abdul Bashir is joining us live. All three of whom have been getting you every minute detail and political update that you needed to know from Telangana. We've also got Ritwik Balekar, who's now here in Telangana to get you all the updates that come in tomorrow. Good evening to all of you. Nagarjun, if I can begin with you. It's been a high-octane political thriller here in the state of Telangana in the last few months. You've been tracking every party's campaign. Would I be right in saying, Naga, that this perhaps is the uh, biggest battle for Telangana in the sense that the stakes perhaps are the highest in this assembly election? Well, literally in all senses, uh, Akshita, in fact, uh, the election commission last evening put out the seizures uh, 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 figures that uh, including the liquor, gold, freebies and the money. It has crossed over 700 crore cumulatively. So in little sense, it's the highest stake battle that is being fought in Telangana and in Hyderabad that way we are in today. Uh, but it's a triangular fight across uh, Telangana where BJP has campaigned aggressively after GHMC. They f felt that uh, they have some ray of hope in south apart from Karnataka, and this is the state that has given them biggest boost with four sitting MPs in 2019. So they want to push forward and make it a double digit vote share fight. But however, like many pol political commentators and the leaders themselves are feeling that it's a dual battle between the BRS and the Kron Congress in 75% odd seats in Telangana. Considering it's a small state with just 119 seats, it may be a wave election is what people are hoping for because uh, the message from one border to the other border travels much quicker unlike the larger states and the issues become much similar unlike other states as well. So people are hoping it's a wave election that uh, either it will be pro-incumbency or anti-incumbency but however BJP is hoping that it will be a hung assembly in a closed door meeting that they can be the king makers in Telangana as well. So all eyes tomorrow that the triangular fight will happen but the people of Telangana will choose who their netas will be for the next five years. Is there going to be a wave? Is this a wave election or are we going to be seeing things going down to the wire? Answers to that, of course, on December 3rd. But tomorrow is when the voters will decide who they choose. I want to also focus right now on the key battles to watch out for. Whether it's Kama Reddy, where you have KCR squaring off against the Telangana Congress chief, Revant Reddy, or uh, a Gajwell, which is KCR stronghold, where you have KCR against Itala Rajender, fielded by the BJP, who was once the right-hand man of KCR. There are many, many interesting battles, and I can think of so many. Siddipet, where you have Harish Rao contesting. Sirsila, where you have uh, KTR contesting. It's a stronghold, of course. So many high-profile battles, and let me bring in Abdul Bashir on this broadcast this well, Abdul, good evening. Which is the one political battle that you're watching out for? I know for me, it's Kamaradi for sure. Well, absolutely. See, there is no one particular you know, constituency that we can concentrate on because uh, several constituencies uh, beat in the city of Hyderabad like Charminar, uh, Gosha Mahal and Jubilee Hills are into limelight uh, for the past few days while well, well, you know, all the parties have been uh, you know, campaigning all in this uh, particular constituencies wherein uh, Gajwil is uh, the home of the bastion for uh, KCR himself and now the second seat where he is uh, you know, contesting from is Kama Reddy uh, where uh, there is a tough fight that we are hearing between uh, Raven Reddy and also KCR. So uh, this uh, is uh, you know, a, a place where uh, not only one or two seats but there are several seats, you know, double digits seats that are into limelight uh, from uh, Karim Nagar also where Bandi Sanjay is contesting, uh, where uh, Dharmapuri Arvind from you know, Nizambad and other, other constituencies also are there where you know, uh, uh, people are now watching as to what uh, would be the fate of uh, the you know, uh, state of Telangana uh, on December 3rd. Tomorrow is the uh, day when the uh, people of uh, Telangana will give their mandate, uh, will uh, vote, uh, will choose their uh, upcoming government. Uh, but these constituencies are uh, where the uh, you know, fight has not only become for power, but is, it, it has also uh, become you know, a, a, a prestige fight for these candidates.
Okay, uh, Abdul, stay on with us. You know, amid all of uh, the excitement, the anticipation of what's going to happen tomorrow, I just want to briefly focus on one of the political controversies that played out today, which was a video of Rahul Priyanka dancing as part of the Telangana campaign. We've seen many of these videos going viral. They were dancing there with Revan Reddy to some of the catchy Telangana campaign tunes. But as some chief minister, Imanta Biswa Sharma, has referred to this to say that at a time, when the entire nation, when officials were working so hard, when the government was working so hard to ensure the rescue of 41 trapped workers in that tunnel in Uttarkashi, you had Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi dancing away without caring about the rescue. It's led to, of course, a whole lot of politics with reactions coming in from both sides on this. But this particular video of Rahul and Priyanka campaigning in Telangana, dancing, beaming, celebrating with the crowds, has in fact led to a political showdown because mind you, this attack from the Assam chief minister has come almost 24 hours after the Congress put out a photo to take a taunt to the prime minister asking why he hadn't visited Uttarkashi uh, and also putting up this entire cartoon which mocked him over the Uttarkashi tunnel rescue. कल सुबह ही एक खबर निकाल गया था कि आज कुछ होने वाला था तो दिन भर कल हम लोग व्याकुल था क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा और कल मेरा भी तेलंगाना में प्रोग्राम था मैं भी कल नहीं गया किसलिए एक एंजाइटी होते थे क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा आएगा नहीं आएगा क्या होगा कल बहुत ही एंजाइटी में हम लोग घंटा पार किया दिन पार किया लेकिन राहुल जी प्रियंका जी सबने डांस कर रहा था तेलंगाना में छब्बीस ग्यारह का समय भी ये लोग ऐसा ही कर रहा था तो इतना इनसेंसिटिव लीडरशिप देश को कभी नहीं देखा let me bring in Apurva Jayachandran on this. Uh, Apurva, we've seen a lot of politics play out between the BRS, the Congress and the BJP, of course. Now the national spotlight on Rahul and Priyanka's campaign. Uh, and we've seen several such videos of them dancing away to all of the catchy political tunes to the Congress's anthem. Uh, one, of course, being for Revan Reddy, the other for Rahul Gandhi. And now there's a lot of politics saying that the Congress, the Gandhi simply didn't care over what was happening at the tunnel rescue. They were busy dancing here in Telangana. Actually, that's interesting because, you know, we're seeing this is the Telangana elections. We're already seeing several political parties who are battling it out, especially you know, the war is very tough between the BRS, the Congress and the BJP. And uh, we've seen tall leaders like Prime Minister Narendra Modi himself uh, who have uh, come here. They've done road shows. They've done, uh, you know, uh, rallies, public addresses. Amit Shah and several other leaders also had arrived here and done the same. Rahul Gandhi, in fact, uh, Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, in fact, Sonia Gandhi had uh, launched the manifesto here, the six promises that the flagship promises that the Congress has put out for the people of Telangana if they should be voted to power. So we're seeing a power play that is going on between the Congress and the BJP and uh, and also now the BR is there already, you know, it's a ruling party right here. They're very confident that they're going to win, but the, you know, the politics at the uh, crux of it does, uh, you know, seem to be uh, quite something at such. We've, we've seen poster wars that have broken out uh, when... Correct. Such tall leaders have come into the state. We've seen, uh, you know, a and let's talk about that, well uh, uh, Purva, You know, we talk about poster wars, where we talk about the ugly issues that really came up. In some cases, it was about issues that matter to the voter. In some others, as we always see in the elections, it was about polarization, about religion, and below the belt comments. Let's recap for our viewers what the high octane campaign in Telangana has looked like. High decibel hectic campaigning is over as voters prepare to cast their mandates leaders throng to offer prayers for celestial powers to be on their side all 119 seats of Telangana are gearing up for 30th November voting the election campaign reached a fever pitch around the last day for nomination filing on 13th November BJP kabhi sach nahi bolti. और उनके भाई केसीआर भी कभी सच नहीं बोलते मोदी ने कहा क्या कहा कि मुझे वोट दो मुझे सरकार में लाओ हर एक को पंद्रह पंद्रह लाख दे तू बोले दिए पंद्रह लाख नहीं दिए तो वो झूठ बोल रहे हैं क्या आप लोग लेके झूठ बोल रहे हैं 
वो झूठ बोल रहा है भाई उसने ये कहा कि दो करोड़ नौकरिया युवकों को पूरे हिंदुस्तान में दूंगा बोले तेलंगाना में मिला दो करोड़ नौकरियों में से कुछ नहीं मिला अरे तो वो दे दिया बोल के बोलता है तुम नहीं बोलते ये कैसा मैं समझता हूं खास करके पूरे नौकरियां केसीआर के पास गए होंगे battle of words reached throughout the next two weeks bjp leader and nizamabad mp arvind dharmapuri stoked the controversy saying that his party would give monetary rewards if telangana chief minister k chandrashekar rao and his son k t rama rao die andukane anna nizamabad bjp manifesto ksr nachipothe ayyu lakshmi ittam కేటీఆర్ చచ్చిపోతే కూడా ఐదు లక్షలు అన్న అవి పెంచితే ఇప్పుడు పది లక్షలు ఇస్తా నేను ముసలోడు ఎట్లా ఐదు ఐదు రోజులు చచ్చిపోతే ఎక్కువ ఇస్తా closer to the end of the campaign election commission served a notice to telangana chief minister k chandrashekar rao for his comments on the congress at a public meeting in banswada on october 30th padi samatharalalo enno ennikalu jariginayi ఎన్నడు మనం హింసకు దిగలే ప్రజలు గెలిపిస్తే గెలిచినాం శాతన నగర సేవ చేసినాం తప్ప దుర్మార్గమైన పనులు చేయలే కానీ మా సహనాన్ని పరీక్షిస్తే ఇలా దుబ్బాక అభ్యర్థి మీద జరిగిన దాడి దుబ్బాక అభ్యర్థి ప్రభాకర్ రెడ్డి మీద కాదు కేసీఆర్ మీద దాడి జరిగిందని చెప్పి నేను మనవి చేస్తా ఉన్నా ఈ దాడులు కనుక ఇస్తే ఆపకపోతే సెల్ఫ్ కంట్రోల్ చేసుకోకపోతే మాకు కూడా దమ్మున్నది మేము కూడా అదే పనికి ఎత్తుకుంటే మీరు ఎక్కడ మిగిలరు దుమ్ము కూడా మిగిలరని చెప్పి నేను మనవి చేస్తా ఉన్నా KCR said this in reference to the knife attack on BRS MP K Prabhakar Reddy. NSUI state president Venkat Balmur alleged that the chief minister made derogatory and provocative comments. The ACI took a factual report from the Telangana CEO and served the notices. The war of words has taken a break as over 3 crore voters now prepare to decide the fate of Telangana. Bureau report India today So that was a sense of all that's played out of course there was a lot more controversy a lot more issues also uh, that we'll keep talking about I want to bring in now Ritvik Balikar Pramod Madhav as well as Maruti Acharya who are with us on this broadcast uh, Ritvik to you first tomorrow of course you're going to be tracking Revanth Reddy uh, in Kodangal constituency interestingly he lost there earlier so this time around he is going to be putting his focus on Kodangal as well as Kamar Reddy and Revanth Reddy is a man who found himself in the heart of controversy throughout this election campaign Absolutely Akshita uh, let me tell you this that I've just uh, landed on the ground zero of Telangana from Mumbai today for the coverage of tomorrow's uh, uh, polling in Telangana and Kodangal is the assembly constituency which uh, is uh, in the eye of many because obviously uh, Revent Reddy is again uh, uh, contesting there and uh, BJP also uh, uh, BRS uh, both the uh, uh, contenders are uh, pretty tough uh, going on there and uh, revend reddy has always been in the controversy and uh, it is going to be a tough competition because uh, all the uh, national parties are vying dominance on this constituency uh, despite of the fact that brs has been ruling in the state but the regional party being strong here we need to see that how congress and bjp will be inching closer to it correct You know, it's a prestige battle beyond just the power matrix. It's a prestige battle in a Kodangal, in a Kama Reddy. We're hearing that Revanth Reddy, after casting his vote in Kodangal tomorrow, will also be making his way to Kama Reddy to perhaps inspect some of the voting booths. Pramod Madhav tomorrow is going to be tracking Chief Minister K C R, who usually casts his vote in Siddhi Pet. This time around, it's going to be a tough ask for K C R, Pramod. Uh, you know, he's going to be essentially uh, fighting from Gajwal, his safe seat, but also Kama Reddy. And like I said. it's about prestige you're going to be tracking kcr tomorrow and getting us those updates welcome to telangana by the way promote that's 
Thank you, Akshita. It's absolutely a beautiful place. And right behind us, you could see the Martyr Memorial. This is where it all started for the past 10 years. KCR has been in power running this way because he also claims to have spearheaded this movement of Telangana statelyhood. It's an absolutely beautiful monument, a steel, like a bimeth, mammoth that you could see over here. And this is what he's going to ride on once again in this election. He sure is a tall frame. It's not that easy to defeat KCR. That's what we hear from the ground. But this is what the, uh, the uh, BRS is entirely relying on. But this time, there has been so many issues about this memorial itself, about the martyrs. Many like uh, the national parties claiming that the martyrs were insulted and such. But BRS is pretty strong on what they believe in, and that is Telangana statelyhood. And that's what we're going to see tomorrow, how KCR is going to collect the votes in Gajwal, Akshita. Uh, Correct. You know, the BRS and many would say that what happened today uh, with regards to the uh, observation of Diksha Divas, it led to a lot of controversy because some political parties said that this by itself is a campaign and the election commission should shut it down. I want to bring in Maruti Acharya also on this broadcast. Maruti is with our digital SOSA team and he's been traveling with me across Telangana. So he is also uh, gauged essentially the mood of what's happening in the pole bound state. Maruti, you were there this morning to also cover what happened with the BRS. KTR was part of the Diksha Divas. There was a bit of controversy on there with many saying that look this is a political campaign with 24 hours to go for polling. Yes Akshita, so uh, taking the Diksha Divas into account it is not the new one, it has been here for 14 years but the place at which on 29th is what people are being pointed out and KTR has also said that we are not we are doing it on party office and we are not violating any of the election code of conduct but uh, Revan Reddy and all the Congress leaders are accusing that BRS party is using this as their election strategy and also Congress leader Niranjan has filed a complaint to the election commission saying that this is what is happening because the mode of conduct is in place and the rules are pretty strict but when it comes to observing this Diksha Divas, uh, they, they have been blood donation campaigns happened and KTR also participated in it. That led to a lot of controversies. Also, in counter to that, the BRS leader Shravan has also tweeted that Revan Reddy is also using five guarantees card, was spotted using five guarantees card at a Darga. So this is leading to a lot of controversies about this specific you know, we're going to We're going to be talking about that also, Marathi. We'll talk about that controversy. Uh, but thank you for getting us those details. And I'd like to thank all of our reporters, Nagarjun, Abdul, Apurva, Pramod, Ritvik, as well as Marathi Acharya. All of us, seven of us, come tomorrow from 7 a.m. We'll be getting you every every single update on polling day here in Telangana. We've been, of course, for the last many months tracking all the updates. So it's only fitting that you join us here on India today from 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll be getting you the updates from all the polling booths, tracking every big political leader, every big influencer here in Telangana as well. I'd like to thank all of our reporters. Uh, let me also now focus on all the big faces of this Telangana election, starting, of course, with the man who's aiming to secure a hat-trick, K. Chandrasekhar Rao, the Telangana chief minister who's been campaigning in every single assembly segment. Many refer to him as a one-man army of the BRS. Let's take a look back at his political journey and why this election is perhaps his most crucial. <laughs> He's the tiger of Telangana, the one-man army of the BRS. He's on a mission to secure a hat-trick in Telangana as chief minister, but faces a slew of mammoth challenges. And if there's one man who can tide over anti-incumbency, over corruption allegations and an aggressive opposition, it's K. Chandrasekhar Rao. I'm going to go to He's been at the fore of the BRS campaign, holding four to five rallies every single day to cover all assembly segments across Telangana. 
the massive crowds that have gathered here, I'd say at least a few thousands who've come together for this particular rally. And you can see behind me the life-size posters also uh, across the rally venue. First on top is KCR, followed by KTR, and then the candidate. And that perhaps is also very telling of how KCR is trying to project his son as his successor. KCR has been the face of the Telangana movement since 2001 when he quit the TDP to start the Telangana Rashtra Samiti. The turning point in the movement came in 2009 when KCR led a massive hunger strike, upping the political pressure on the then UPA government. Nenu, Kalwa Kuntla Chandrasekhar Rao and Nenu, Shasanam Dwara Nirmitamayana Bharata Rajangam Patla, after the formation of Telangana on June 2, 2014, on the same day, at 12.57 p.m., KCR took oath as Chief Minister. Since 2014 to today, KCR has ruled as Chief Minister of Telangana and has won as MLA from his stronghold, Gajwel. This time, however, he is also fighting from Kamaredi. A decision that's raised a lot of eyebrows, but he's linked it to his ancestral roots to the district. I'm standing right now in the Konapur village. This falls within the Kamareti constituency. And what makes this rather quaint village important and significant in the Telangana battle is this is KCR's ancestral village that works out as his advantage. He's been using the emotion card to say, this is my Bhumi, I've come back here to fight for my people, to ensure that they get the development they deserve. KCR is gunning for a hat-trick as Chief Minister and has his task cut out for him. This perhaps is his most challenging election yet. Fighting from two seats, fighting anti-incumbency and eyeing a 2024 national political plunge as well. Akshita Nand Gopal for India Today. So 3.26 voters of Telangana will seal the fate of K. Chandrasekhar Rao. We'll decide if the Congress makes a comeback. We'll also decide if the BJP has a big say in Telangana or not. And you can trust us here on India Today to get you every single update on polling day tomorrow, right here from 7 a.m. We'll be stationed across the state, the length and breadth, covering every big political leader as he or she casts their vote, ensuring also that your voice, the voice of Telangana, is right here on India Today. That's all we have time for in this broadcast. Thanks very much for tuning in. A reminder, 7 a.m. tomorrow, we'll be live on polling day.